Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing yet another speed test comparison of two devices under the 25,000 price segment. So we have the newly launched Moto Edge 50 Fusion 5G and we also have the recently launched Nothing Phone 2A. Now both of these devices are priced below the 25,000 rupees but they have a lot of things uh, uh, in terms of uh, the experience which differ. Now uh, this is powered by the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 while this is the Dimensity 7200 Pro. Now both have Android uh, 14 out of the box but uh, again the UI difference this is the Moto UI, this is nothing for OS uh, and uh, this is uh, both of these devices have the UFS 2.2 storage and they have the uh, AMOLED displays and uh, a lot of other things also vary but then we'll be talking more about the performance uh, especially the speed of opening of apps, the memory management, the network speed, the anti uh, benchmarking score and also the Geekbench score. So let's begin. So before that, uh, let's go to the settings. So let's take uh, the about phone. So Moto Edge 50 Fusion 5G Android 14 and 8GB RAM, uh, the Nothing Phone uh, 2A with uh, Nothing OS 2.5.6 and 8GB RAM. So both are 8GB RAM, Dimensity 7200 and uh, let's just clear off all the background apps and let's see, see the network connections. So both are connected to the airplane mode and on the same network as well. So let's get started. So once again clearing off all the background apps. So let's start with Asphalt 9. So let's see which opens Asphalt 9 faster. Now, obviously, uh, in terms of raw benchmark, the Nothing Phone 2A is a bit more powerful. Uh, so, the Dimensity 7200 uh, in terms of benchmark is more powerful than uh, the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2. So, you can see here, it's pretty fast in terms of opening of uh, uh, the Asphalt 9 uh, compared to the Nothing or rather the Moto, Moto Edge 50 Fusion 5G. So, uh, next is uh, BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. So once again, uh, Nothing Phone has taken the lead, slight lead here. Again, you can see here slight lead in opening of apps. So both the games, Nothing Phone 2A. Next is uh, Play Store. Here I would say Moto was slightly faster. Chrome browser. Uh, here we will say Nothing was slightly faster. Facebook. Moto was slightly faster. Twitter. Again, Moto was slightly faster. Instagram again almost same time Spotify Moto was faster here Amazon again Moto was faster Flipkart again Moto was faster File Manager Moto is again faster Settings Moto is again faster YouTube Moto is faster. Gmail also Moto is faster. The app response time on Moto is much faster. Camera is also faster on Moto. Maps. So here probably nothing phone was slightly faster but again not a major difference. So in terms of opening of apps you can see that games are faster on the, uh, the nothing phone 2A for obvious reason it's more powerful chip while the other apps were surprisingly faster on the Moto H50 Fusion 5G. So that's the um, app opening time. Now let's see the memory management. Now both of these devices have 8 gigabyte RAM. So let's see uh, which all apps are kept in the memory and which all apps are reloaded. So as of now all the apps are available in the memory. So Flipkart has been reloaded on the Nothing Phone 2A. Amazon again reloaded on the Nothing Phone 2A. Now Spotify both are retained the app. Instagram is reloaded on the Moto while it is available on the Nothing Phone 2A. Twitter it's reloaded on the, the Nothing while it's available on the uh, Moto. Facebook uh, I would say probably available on both devices. Chrome browser available. Play Store is available now onto the games. Uh, you can see here Moto has retained the game while it has been reloaded on uh, uh, the Nothing Phone 2A. So let's just check. And finally going to Asphalt 9. So again uh, Moto has retained the app while Nothing Phone 2A has uh, uh, removed it from the memory. So in terms of memory management, surprisingly the uh, Moto was better because uh, it is kind of a bit more optimized I would say. Uh, it, it was able to retain all the apps except one or two but uh, Nothing Phone 2A reloaded a lot of apps. Both have 8GB RAM and uh, 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 more or less similar in terms of other uh, hardware aspects. 
So that was the speed of opening of apps and the memory management. Let's go to the network speed. So let's open now the uh, speed here. So let's just go here. So let's start the test. So it's starting with a moto. So you could see here almost similar value, not much of difference in terms of the network speed. Next is the Antitube benchmark score. So this is where the raw synthetic benchmark gives you much higher score on the nothing uh, phone 2A. So this uh, is uh, more powerful. Uh, you can see that uh, the Dimensity 7200 Pro is more powerful. You can see a CPU, GPU, uh, the memory score, UX score, everywhere it is more powerful. So that makes it uh, really powerful device in this price segment let's go to the storage option now both of these are ufsr 2.2 uh, so let's just quickly have a look at uh, the storage aspect so ufs 2.2 in this price segment kind of okay -ish, i would say because some devices do come with ufs 3.1 in this price segment especially the other uh, poco x6 pro which has UFS, ufs 4.0 and the uh, uh, oneplus not c4 5g has ufs 3.1 now this is 75,000. it's not bad actually it's quite good and even this is also quite good considering that both of these are uh, ufs 2.2 so the scores are good but then uh, in terms of hardware both are ufs 2.2 and finally the geekbench 6 test so here are the scores. Uh, here you don't see much of difference. In fact, uh, uh, the nothing phone 2 a is slightly lower here. I'm not sure why this has happened, but this is not uh, really fast. Uh, you can see here, this is 1111 single core. And the multi-core score is quite surprisingly lower than uh, the um, uh, the Moto Edge 50 Fusion 5G, but we are not really sure about that. Ideally, this is more powerful chip uh, than the Snapdragon 7S uh, Gen 2. So that was uh, the network speed and uh, the memory management and also the Geekbench and the synthetic benchmark test. So that was the speed test comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.